Hi, my name is Kathy Dumas, and I'm the Director of Program Management here at Simba Technologies, the data access and analytics experts. We do a number of solutions here at Simba for data connectivity between various uh, visualization clients and various databases and analytics backends. And today, what I'm going to demonstrate for you is how to use Tableau against Teradata OLAP. So the Teradata OLAP solution has been around since 1310. Uh, it enables you to do cubes on top of Teradata. And before their primary offering was on Excel. What we have here is a beta pro beta version of Tableau that enables connectivity to Teradata OLAP. So let's get started. To connect to the data, you start by connecting to the data set here, and then you pick Teradata OLAP connector from the list and fill in all this information. So I've already done this, so we'll just go back to the sheet and take a look at what it looks like when I've got this cube. So what I'm showing you here in my cube is this FAA data set. So it shows on-time flight performance. So you can see I have measures like arrival delay, departure delay, and information about airports, so the origins and destinations, and the various carriers, the date, so that I can compare information about the flight. So let's take a look, let's start exploring this data. So you just drag and drop. Very straightforward. So if I wanted to see how delays varied by year, and just drag and drop here. So I can see in 2012, the flights are much more timely, which is interesting. So let's see which carriers perform the best. And just drag this on here. And we can see Alaska Airlines is one of the best performing carriers, which is good. Now, I can see this for arrival delays, which is fine. What about departure? So I can just drop this on here. And I can see, if I look at Alaska Airlines, they do pretty well on both ends. Arrivals and departures, they're one of the best performing airlines. And I wonder who's up here. Atlantic, Southeast, Express Jet, oh dear, JetBlue. So that's interesting. We've looked at the arrivals uh, by carrier. Why don't we take a look now at by location? Tableau, one of the great features of Tableau is the geospatial support. Um, and you don't even need to have your data encoded before you get there. If you have just information like states and cities, um, these are automatically t detected by Tableau and they take on a geographic role so they can be rendered by a map. So let's take a look at flight performance uh, by state. So I just drag on my states. At a measure, so we're looking at arrivals. And then we just click the filled map here to convert it to a map. Now in this case, because we didn't provide the country information, we just have to supply it here. But if this was in the data set, Tableau would have already detected it. And this fill would have been done automatically for you. Now, one thing Tableau does is it thinks that bigger is better. And in most cases it is, but in the case of delays, it's not. So we can take a look now and see which flights are arriving on time. And if you look, Washington State is one of the best performing states for arrivals, which makes sense because it's one of Alaska Airlines, one of the best performing airlines. they fly a lot out of there. So that's interesting that we can make the connection between the best performing states and the airports. Now, it's hard to make that connection when the flights are on different sheets. So why don't we combine the information in a dashboard? So we can combine items by selecting new dashboard and simply dragging and dropping to compose the information together.
So those are some of the things you can do. Just want to show you one last thing before we go. I have one more measure here called the number of flights. And what we can do here is I'll show you another visualization doing scatter plots so that I can analyze multiple measures. Also, this one's an additive measure, so it's a little bit more fun. So let's take a look at how many flights we have coming out of these airports. And let's take a look by airport itself, so Origin Airport. And let's see if busier airports tend to have more uh, departure or arrival delays. So let's take a look at the arrivals. And we can see here that there's a lot of variance in the airports that are small and not so busy. Favorite hubs, Atlanta, Denver, Dallas-Fort Worth, Phoenix. They don't tend to run on time like these guys. So I guess the bigger you are, the closer convergence that you get to a baseline of being about five minutes late, which is interesting. And if we wanted to see if there's a similar correlation in departure, the color is a little bit easier to see. And again, we could see that Airports that tend to be late, they arrive late and depart late. There's a clear correlation here in color. Look at that scale go. And again, the colors are very similar across, so that makes it easy to do our analysis. So that's great. Today we showed you just very simple uh, comparing over time, geospatial analysis, dashboards, and scatter plots. So this is just a few of the things that you can do with Tableau. If you're at Teradata Partners, you can stop by uh, at the booth for Teradata and learn more about Teradata OLAP, or you can pop by Tableau's booth and learn a little bit more about these flights as well. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Take care.